Inside the bedroom of a teenage girl, 16-year-old Jamie is getting ready for a Killer Instinct concert while listening to a song from the same band. The rock music is too loud for the mother who enters and immediately switches it off. She speaks of how the lead singer of Killer Instinct, Eddie Royal, was a jerk in high school. So she shouldn't idolize him. Jamie doesn't care about her mother's opinions, disagreements and endless complaints. She simply prepares to leave. Jamie's father is just a guy watching TV, way past his prime of having chiseled muscular body, which he claims to have once had. All in all, they are simple, boring, overprotective parents who want to stay at home and give away Halloween candy because of the incident. They live simple lives in this small town. Perhaps that's why the most impacting event for them was something that happened 35 years ago when their three friends were brutally murdered. They're scared because their daughter is now of the same age. The mother stays back while the father drives Jamie to her friend's house. If you are continuing from previous scene, that is narrating the story of Sweet 16 Killer, then you might feel these two are totally unrelated. You might be right, but not entirely. Although the primary purpose of this scene is to introduce the protagonist Jamie and her dynamics with people around, we don't focus on what is happening in the background, even though it is hinted at in fleeting moments. The mother gets a text from washed-out conspiracy theorist Chris Dubisage. What motivated him to send a message now? Chris has no achievements to show for. The only thing credible he had was the podcast, which too was challenged by a simple waitress just a while ago. On top of that, he sees his father, Norm Dubisage, covering news in the middle of a hurricane for which he might be given another Pulitzer Prize. That's sure to get Chris desperate. He wants to do something big, like catching the Sweet 16 killer. But all his research leads to a dead end. The only open lead he has is a question. Why didn't the killer attack the fourth Molly? More about that later. It's unsettling to think what others might be planning for us while we are cluelessly living our lives. A good surprise is planning a birthday party. But a bad one is what happens to Jamie's mom. That's why they say, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. And... There's nothing wrong in living a simple, boring life. Don't chase thrill because you won't like if thrill starts chasing you. We'll continue the story in the next video. Till then, subscribe.